We will be unboxing and taking photos of two figures today. Jolene from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, The Stone Ocean Season, and Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen. Since I love taking pictures of my figures, I also want to show you how I set up some of my photos later in the video. Hi everyone, Mrs. Grimace here. Today I'm unboxing Jolene. I really like this figure because it captures her really nice physique and her style and because of the color of her hair and her lips I made sure to match my real colors to green. Hope you guys enjoyed this video! Hi everyone, I truly appreciate all of you who have subscribed to my channel so far. I've been working very hard these past few months to build Grimace on PAX, so please support my channel by subscribing and liking my video. Now back to the unboxing. I saw this figure at an anime con last year, but it was out of the box as a display. And since I was kind of a rookie at buying figures at the time, I kind of jumped at the chance to buy it because I liked the character. But one of the benefits of it was that it was a little bit cheaper, and since I was going to unbox it anyway, I thought it was a great purchase. I try to be very careful when attaching the head on the rest of the figure because sometimes I end up accidentally breaking the neck part. For this Jolene figure, however, it was very easy to get her head in. The only thing I struggled a little bit with was putting Jolene on her stand. Once the stand was attached, she kind of leans forward a little bit, but she stands well on her own. Overall, I love all the details that this figure has. The paint job is amazing and it was such a joy taking photos with it in different lightings. The best thing about Jojo figures is that their poses are flamboyant but have a serious tone to them. It makes it really easy to set up the figure for a photo. The hard part is setting up the backdrops and props to go along with the photo. If you've seen the season, then you'll know that most of this series takes place in a prison. And that's one of the photos I wanted to capture with the Jolene figure. To get a prop that looks like a prison cell, I thought I could use a oven rack to emulate the metal bars of a cell. At Hobby Lobby, I found a collection of card stocks, which are like sheets of paper with designs on them. I realized that the options in the collection make for great backdrops for figures. For Jolene, I found one that looks like a wall of a prison, and so I decided to take that out and Use that as the backdrop for the photo. If you watch the series, you'll know that she has an ability where she can control what I suppose can be described as psychic threads. In the anime, they appear as blue, so I decided to buy a small set of blue wires.
Now that I have my props and backdrop figured out, I need to see how I want to position Jolene and the metal wire to complement the metal rack and make it look like she's in a prison cell. I use sticky tack to hold down the backdrop and the props being used for the photo. Now this is one of the last steps before I actually started taking the photo, but it was really important to make sure that everything stays in place and that I could take more than one photo without anything falling down. And this is the photo. I made edits to the blue wire to make it look brighter so it looks like the threads in the anime. I also made edits to the background to make her shadow pop out more and so you can actually see the texture on the walls. Before we move on to the unboxing of the Nami, I did want to show you one more picture. This may seem like random objects to add to a photo, but these are actually part of the show. Without giving away spoilers, CDs are incredibly important and for a time, snails are too. Setting up this photo was tricky, so I wanted to share with you how I brought it to life. One of the first things I had to figure out was how to make the CD hover above Jolene and to also make it look like her threads are holding up the CD itself. To make the CD hover above Jolene, I used a soft thread to wrap around the center hole of the CD and taped the string to the top of the photo box. And here is the picture. The challenge with this photo was avoiding the reflections given off by the back of the CD. Sometimes it would show my camera or other objects in the room. Overall, I really like this picture. Now let's unbox the Nami. I'm also unboxing the handsome Nanami Kanto from Jujutsu Kaisen. Putting together the pieces for this Nanami Kento figure is very simple. We only have the stand, his general body, and his blunt sword.
I really like that the figure captures how dapper Nanami is with his suit and loosening up his tie as he is getting ready for a fight. What do you guys think? <laughs>